So hey guys, um, welcome to another um, review and today I'll be reviewing Batman uh, issue number 7. Now for time's sake I won't show you what I picked up, I'll just list them off. Um, the comic books I picked up today was Justice League, um, Batman Beyond Unlimited, Young Justice, DC Universe Online Legends which just ended with a 26th issue that came out today. Um, I also picked up Nightwing. Blue Beetle, and I think that's about it. I will be reviewing Justice League next, so look forward to that. Um, not gonna review Young Justice or DC Universe Online Legends. Maybe DC Universe Online Legends just reviewing the whole entire series all together. But um, yeah, let's begin. You know, the most awesome, terrific, most exciting comic that I've been waiting for and anticipating for, which is Batman issue number seven. Now, in the last issue of Batman, Batman or Bruce Wayne finally escaped the clutches of um, the Quarter of Owls. Um, and, you know, of course, that's where issue number seven picks up. But in the beginning of issue number seven, we get like a little small little monologue, I guess, of, you know, when Bruce you know, decide to become Batman as he's laying on his, um, on his, was it, his armchair, and he's just thinking, and he sees that bat on the statue, and he's like, yes, father, I will become a bat. So, you know, you have a little monologue there. But what's interesting is they actually implement the Court of Owls in this, you know, because um, we never seen that happen before. We just saw Bruce sitting in his armchair, and then, you know, he sees the bat, and he gets the idea of becoming Batman, um, in honor of his father. And then after that, um, you know, what happens is an owl attacks the bat and kills it. But I won't, you know, go in depth with, you know, what the monologuing was or whatnot. But then after that happens, we see Batman waking up in a van. And then we see this girl. Um, she has brought him back alive with um, with some, what is it what you call it, the electrocute, like electrocuting him with um, the van's engine um, or battery pack. So... You know, he's, he came back back up, um, and, you know, he's alive, and he's all like, where am I, and, and whatnot, and he's like, oh, it's you again, this girl, and he says, leave me alone, you know, whatnot, he leaves, and he exits, but then after, you know, we see Batman come back, um, we actually see someone else waking up in front of the Court of Owls. Now, we don't know who this person is because they don't actually show his face, we just see a person waking up the same way as Batman did, he was electrocuted, and he you know, wakes up, um, he's reanimated again, and after that, um, you know, they said it's, it's time for us to implement our plan, it's your job, you're much stronger, it's time for us to gain back our city, Gotham City, that's the core of Owl's uh, plan right now. And after that, we see Bruce, you know, in the sewers, heading back to the Batcave, you know, his secret entrance in the sewers, and after that, he gets into the Batcave with Alfred, and to his surprise, he sees Talon there not, you know, alive or anything. He's just strapped down um, on a, on a, like a, was it those, like, was it a, a table kind of thing? He's strapped down, and, you know, he's, he's dead, actually. He's really dead, and then, you know, uh, Alfred's like, oh, I brought him back because, you know, um, when your locator tur uh, turned up, uh, I, I searched for your body, but I found Talons, and I thought I should bring him back to the Batcave, and he was like, maybe you should rest, Bruce, and, you know, it's, you know, you had a long, you know, week, couple of weeks and you know you gotta rest you look really beat up and he does look pretty beat up but you know we all know what Bruce wants to do he wants to dissect and uh, not actually well dissect but analyze um, Talon's body and you know after that happens we actually get a good explanation in who's under that suit now the person that's under the suit his name is called William Cobber I think um, and I won't reveal who he is, but um, you can see a striking resemblance to one of Batman's um, sidekicks. He resembles actually sort of some one of Batman's sidekicks before, but I won't reveal to you who because he does reveal who this person actually is and who he's related to. Um, but yeah, I won't get into death because I don't want to spoil anything, but they really, really explain, like, like I said, Scott Schneider writes really well. So he explains who is under the suit and how, you know, they're, they're, they're working in the suit. So basically what happens is that this person is actually dead, but not dead at the same time. Because, you know, there's a saying that when someone dies, they put a coin in their mouth. So when they're, you know, going to hell, they have a payment for Hades, to, you know, to pass through um, the river of death or whatnot to, you know, the afterlife. And 
they explain that some rich people have this coin made out of an electrum. And this electrum is like a conductor, you know, for electricity. So what they did was they implemented this coin into human's mouth, like real live human's mouth. And when they die, you know, that electrum has bonded with their DNA and skin and whatnot, and cells or whatever. And the only way, you know, you can actually reanimate their body by sending an electric current through their body. And that's how the talent is, not the talent is doing, but the Court of Owls is doing is by reanimating dead bodies with this uh, unusual um, coin in their mouth. That's how they're doing it. And it also explains their healing factor too. Um, but I don't want to get, I try to not get into depth with that because, you know, I don't want to spoil anything because it's a really, really good explanation and really good writing right here. I really like it. And after that, we see a bit of a plot twist here um, because something really happens between Dick and um, Bruce as they're analyzing or explaining, um, you know, who's under the talent suit, you know. And we see a little plot twist um, in the end of this issue, before the end of this issue, actually. And it was really, really nice. I really liked it. It just... Blew my mind, actually. And in the end, I really like how they ended it. The Court of Owls is finally implementing their plan to take over Gotham City. And in the end of the cover, you know, he sends a whole army of talents over Gotham City. And I like how they um, actually ended the issue. was actually they have a, you know, a panel, like a big just one-page panel of, you know, the whole talent army just overlooking um, Gotham City and just flying out. But then they actually says, you know, the talent... They have a title, you know, like a title of a comic, at the end of this issue. And it says, written by Scott Schneider, Batman created by Bob Kane. It's like, what? What? This could be the cover for the next issue, really. That is pretty awesome, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I really like that. Or actually, now that I think about it, actually, that could have been like, you know, how they always introduce, like, oh, that's the Flash comic. And then they have the, the like, the um, what you would call the credits all over the, the page and whatnot, maybe in the beginning of the page. Um, yeah, I don't think that really happened, so maybe that just happened in the end of this issue, which was pretty interesting. I actually like that. Uh, but yes, now we are finally getting into the whole Court of Owls event that will be happening all over the Batman universe with Batwoman, Catwoman, um, Nightwing, Batman Robin, Batgirl. This is going to be implemented in all of the Batman-related issues right now, uh, which is really interesting. Besides Detective Comics and Dark Knight, because those are their own individual Batman comics. This alone with all the other related Batman comics will have to deal with the Court of Owls. And also to mention, Batman is getting a price raise after this issue. Issue number eight, this will start to you know cost four bucks. It is totally worth it because Scott Schneider is doing a fantastic job at writing Batman. I really, really love this issue. I highly recommend you guys, you know, keep picking up Batman because, you know, seriously, the way Scott Schneider writes this, the way he explains things is just really great. How he explains who is under the talent, um, you know, suit. How are they getting, you know, getting their works and kinks to all this, you know, whole Court of Owls thing. This is really great. It's really great storytelling. And like I said, there's a little plot twist near the end. And I liked how that, you know, it just makes you, what you know about Batman just like totally brings out a new concept, you know, into the whole Batman universe, everything we knew before. You know, now it's like embedded into, you know, now this is going to be part of the Batman history, you know? It's going to be really important that you gotta know this. And I highly recommend you guys picking up this issue. Really fantastic. I really love Batman so far. Um, though I wish maybe Scott Schneider could have write Detective Comics. Um, you know, just saying. Because, you know, he does a good job with Batman. Uh, I'm not saying that Tony Estaniel doesn't do a good job. And I have to admit, um, just mentioning this out there, I do love Tony Estaniel. I'm not saying he's a bad writer. I'm just saying that the way he's doing Detective Comics isn't so great. I loved when he did, you know, um, Batman Battle for the Cowl, uh, when, you know, everybody was, you know, when Nightwing's going to become Batman, and when he actually does Batman Life After Death with, you know, Dick Grayson, at, you know, becoming Batman for the very first time and very, you know, first time patrolling Gotham City and overlooking Gotham City. He did a fantastic job in those. Those are one of my favorite comics. It's just the way he's doing... Detective Comics right now really makes me want to suggest Scott Schneider could, you know, possibly write that because the detective work in this issue is much more greater, explanation is much more better in here, and I really like it. So far, highly recommend you guys picking this issue up. After this issue, keep picking up, you know, Nightwing or whatnot to see the tie-ins to, you know, the Court of Owls event. Really pick up those issues. You guys don't read Nightwing or Backer or anything like that. 
pick it up for the Court of Owls event. Just highly recommend you guys doing that because that's going to be totally dealing with, you know, Batman in general, you know, right? what's happening right now. So hopefully you guys like this review and enjoy it. And yeah, next up will be Justice League. So see you guys later.